All right, Prime Minister Stephen Harper in Ottawa. He has approved two major buyouts of Canadian energy companies by foreign state-owned enterprises, but the deals do come with major changes to foreign investment rules in the future. And our National Bureau Chief David Aiken is with me now live in Ottawa. You were in lockup for the, I guess, hour and a half going into this big announcement. And, uh, you know, it's certainly... It seems that Sinook Next and Deal is a go, but it comes with, uh, I guess, a lot of changes to what would happen in the future with future deals. It, it does. And, and let's just review what uh, there was three things announced today. The Next and Deal is the big one. And just to review on that, Sinook, which is the state owned oil and gas company owned by the Chinese, wanted to pay $15 billion for Nexen. That is the single largest takeover ever by a Chinese company of a foreign asset. Not just in Canada, but anywhere around the world. So this is big news for Canada. It's big news globally. So that transaction gets the green light. But there was another energy takeover as well, and that was a firm called Petronas. It is a natural gas company owned by the government of Malaysia. They're a Commonwealth cousin Malaysia, a democracy, but that is still a state-owned enterprise, Petronas. And they are also getting approval today to buy another Calgary firm, Progress Energy. That's a $5.4 billion transaction. But that one, we should point out, is going to come with some with one big net benefit for Canada because Petronas has promised to build a brand new liquid natural gas terminal in northern BC. That would probably cost seven or eight billion dollars in construction costs alone. So that certainly is going to bring some immediate economic uh, benefit uh, to Canada, that eight billion dollars worth of construction in northern BC. So that is the other deal announced today. And then finally, the third thing is these new rules, new rules that the government will now adopt when it comes to assessing whether or not it ought to approve future investments by these state-owned enterprises. And that is what the Prime Minister was talking about just at the end there, where he says, listen, we've got to take a look at these things. It's unique when a, when a company controlled by a foreign government ends up wanting to buy a chunk of things. And here's, here's, a, here's the statistic that was really worrying the Prime Minister, as he said during the press conference, is that uh, right in 2011, about 20% of the uh, transactions that were being considered by Investment Canada were from state-owned enterprises. And that is up dramatically from just five years ago when practically no state-owned enterprises were knocking at Canada's door. Now one in five transactions were coming here. So three big deals today. He's trying to walk a balancing act because as we've seen, we've had the polls, we've reported on them, two-thirds of Canadians did not want the Chinese to take next. And they did not want the Chinese to have a bigger chunk of the oil patch. And so the Prime Minister is saying, you get that one, China, you can have Nexon, but that's it. No more uh, Chinese or any other government owning a chunk of the oil patch, except in exceptional circumstances. Yeah, and he was asked specifically about China, David, and he mentioned, though, that Canadians understand China is a large economy about to become the largest in the world, and there's a lot in it for us, too. Right. There's got to be something uh, going for both ways. Now, here's one thing we're waiting for. The Bank of Nova Scotia, the Canadian, a Canadian bank, has had a deal on the table for a long time, just a small one, $800 million, to buy a chunk, not all, to buy a chunk of a Chinese bank. That deal has been waiting for Chinese approval for a long time. Perhaps the Chinese will now get the message. Canada seems to have done by, right by it. And now perhaps we'll see the Chinese approve a Canadian company trying to invest and, and take advantage of the growing Chinese economy. That in the Prime Minister's view, will hopefully be the next shoe to drop. Less than a minute to go, David, but I just wanted to ask you, is this what you were expecting? Yes, I thought both deals would get approved. I'm surprised, though, at the, at the rules they put forward. They seem to me to be much clearer than I thought, setting out some uh, check marks, benchmarks that future applications will be ground by. Uh, the NDP, for its part, has already chimed in saying this was a farce. They're profoundly disappointed with this deal. So we can expect lots of political back and forth to continue next week in the House of Commons.